Friends, denizens of the internet, hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Subnautica Below Zero. I am Devo Lost Time Gaming. We're jumping back into the shoes of is it Robin? Sam? I can never remember. I'm such an idiot. Uh, either way, <laughs> we uh, I did a bunch of farming off screen. It wasn't that much, actually. It didn't take that long at all. But needless to say, we've got four power cells and six batteries. And uh, while our equipment could use some more power, we have food, we have water... We have a piece of table coral and a piece of gel sack just because I couldn't fit them any more into the, you know, storage. And I didn't feel like farming some titanium to make a locker yet. But that being said, we are ready to explore. You can't see my fingers doing the air quotes, but we are ready to explore um, that downed truck. Or not that downed truck, that downed, that downed ship because we can finally access behind the doors and such the the locked doors and hopefully we can run into that smaller ship that had uh several like little doors that were locked that need to be cut and stuff because that's our game now like we're, we're going to be going um to the areas where the the game kind of leads us from this point on but we need to basically clear every derelict every crash derelict that we can find to ensure that we're keeping up on our technology because uh, at this point I'm pretty sure the only thing that we need beyond like the habitat builder is we need depth modules for the sea truck so we can go deeper we need uh, some of the the extra add-ons to the sea truck that we can slap on the back of this bad boy <clears throat> oh wow there's a lot of them there so we can kind of make it like a moving base uh, we just we need more stuff now until we can start building the higher end stuff like a base and a prawn suit and all that good jazz. So we can get deeper than the depths of depthnessness. That's, those are not words, but you know what, I said them anyway, and that's, uh, that's good enough. That being said, I'm glad I did the little bit of farming before, and I actually did it last night, because I had some time, and I wanted to play a game, but not a lot. So I actually did it last night, and it was actually really fun, and just float around and pick up materials and craft a little food and then be like all right i'm done instead of having to <laughs> instead of having to wonder you know what am i going to do next you know how much time do i have left in the episode it was nice not to say i don't i don't enjoy recording these episodes i do i really enjoy it but you know sometimes there is something to be said about just sitting back and relaxing and enjoying the game still now i i'm pretty sure we run into that crashed ship if we simply head for this marker, because we still, we still can't get to this marker. If you recall, it's still uh, way too deep for us to get down there. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. All right, so it's not that way because we we come across it before we get there. I think it's should be right at the edge of this biome with the geysers and stuff. Yeah, there it is. I knew it wasn't too far away. Alright, and I think our best plan of attack should be right in there. Let's get out there and get us some, so to speak. And I'm really glad we're all batteried up and stuff, and we have the bigger tanks, and I can kind of take our time. Not not like all the time, we're not going to be, uh, you know, being super slow about this, but we can be way more thorough than we were last time. As we actually have some time to think about what we're going to do instead of just uh, flailing around like a fool with like 30 seconds of oxygen. Yes, cut it. Cut open the panel. I don't even know what's in here, but I want you to open it. Yes, do it. Use the laser. Ooh, what we got? What is that? Oh, it's a... a what is that? Ooh, that's the... That's the material we need to fix the... The satellite for the lady that hates us and has the pet Yeti? I, I don't know exactly what you want to call it. It's not really a Yeti, so to speak, but it, it looks like one. Now, I could have sworn there was a door somewhere in here. Let's go up. Ah, door. Wait, I don't think I can actually... No, I can't actually open that one. That's locked. It just can't be cut. Oh, hello, oxygen. Don't mind if I do. I don't want to go up there. Those are dangerous to go into. I only like going into them if absolutely necessary. Oh, there was another one. I didn't I didn't even have to cut that other one open. I'm an idiot. 
Ah, yes. The, the saga of me being an idiot continues. Cut this one open. Yes. Caught. Harnessing the power of the sun. Still blows my mind that, like, we actually possess technology that, like, can create temperatures as hot as the surface of the sun, like, uh, like a plasma, plasma cutter and stuff. I, I don't know if that's accurate. I'm pretty sure it's close, though. What's this? I'm going here? No, that's the door we just came out of. But the air, the oxygen thing respawns, so let's, let's go grab that. Aha, you thought you had oxygen, but then I stole it again. I'll get some stairs. That's great. That's what I want, is stairs. Clearly, we opened another door we didn't need to open because we've been here before. Ooh, that's lovely looking. Ooh, there we go, another door. Come on, give me the cutter. Cut it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little peeved if we cut all these doors open and find out that they're just extra pathways through the ship. <laughs> and totally superfluous and not needed at all. Because we're about a little, just a shade below half oxygen now. Oh, nope, there we go. Just a shade below half oxygen. Actually, we're at like two thirds now, but still. Yeah, this was another. This was another pathway that did not need to be cut open. Hmm. I do like that we're getting all these oxygen though. Is this cut? No. No, it's just locked. It's just locked. How about this one? That one is just locked as well. Okay. Well, this is fun, and the fact that I don't know what's going on. It's like every other day in my life. It's just a adventure into stupidity, more or less. Hmm. We are doing a good job getting through here in short order. I just feel like we're not, um... We're not picking up what we should be. You know, we're gonna take a thing of this for titanium so we can make a locker when we get back. Alright, well... Let's get some more oxygen and we'll give that another go. Just be thorough, making sure we checked everything, pretty much. Oxygen re-up and let's hit it. Alright. Last call for this ship. Can't believe we came all the way back here to, you know, get into this ship and deal with that. And then the only thing we got was that parallel processing unit, which we did need, but as you noticed, uh, we didn't need it in the way we got it. Which is unfortunate. Could have just got it before, but it, it, uh, to be fair, it was hard. Ooh, nice. It was hard to get around in here because we had such little oxygen last time we were here, and it's much easier now. More salvage. We don't need that. We don't need any of this nonsense. Where'd I go? Where Where am I? What's going on now? I just uh, lose lose all sense of direction. Become confused. Great. That's what we need. We just need a little bit of the delirium. A little bit of craziness. Never hurt anybody. Wait, no. Scratch that. And more oxygen. I saw you in here. Give me that oxygen. Bang. More scrap, more scrap. We don't need the scrap. More oxygen. Why not? We can always use a little more oxygen. Except right now, I guess. We really don't need it. I can't push that stuff. I wonder if we get the, like, the repulsor like we got in Subnautica 1 later on, where we can actually move, like, little little piles of stuff like that if they are physically interactable. Alright, I guess we're, I guess we're all good. Let me take a slow spin around here. Because I'm pretty sure there's another tinier entry point. Somewhere else. Like a little vent opening, or... No, I guess we're all good. I do not care for those things. Quit yelling. Why are you yelling when you should be gelling? Ugh. The bad taste of marketing campaign in my mouth after that one. I don't know who came up with that marketing campaign for that company, but they should have got paid more. Alright, yeah, I, th I think we're all done here. And that's fine, you know. I didn't expect to find everything in the entire world here, just in this crash ship. Alright, so that's good. What's this over here, though? It looks like steps. Probably nothing, I just... That is weird. I mean, it's weird, but it's also, yeah, that's supposed to be there kind of deal. Okay. So, that's done. So, we can take this off.
And Architect Body Cache. I guess that's the only thing we can really go check out. Even though I don't think we can actually get there. Because that's even... Yeah, that's way... That's crazy low. You know what? Let's... Mm, no. Let's go check out this area. Because now we're just kind of... Just kind of on a hunt now. Which means I once again have no purpose, no direction. Because the next big thing we're going to need really is the, um, the habitat builder. We don't need it because it's for building bases and bases are supplementary. With the sea truck we could basically just... <laughs> no, 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 that's a, that's a bad whatever you are. That's a bad big thing over there. He's like, looked at me and was like, I'm gonna eat you, little fishy. Like, no, no. I am not a little fishy. Oh, you're so big. I hate you so much. Usually, though, the, the sad fact of this game is where they put the big, giant, predatory fish is usually a place we definitively have to go. All right, I'm gonna hop out and repair this thing real fast before it notices me. Before it notices me. There we go. No, I said before. No, don't you dare. All right, I'm making a break for it. Yeah, as I was saying, usually they put the, the Reapers, or I'm not even sure what they call this one because I haven't scanned it yet. That's what they were in the first game. They put the Reapers in areas where you have to go. Basically, like, you have to overcome your fear of the deep to access these areas. Oh, we were here before when we were hunting for diamonds. Warning. Ooh. Death reached. Yeah, I know. Damage imminent. Just kind of looking for derelicts now. No. No. <laughs> That's a big old no. I would like to introduce you to my friend, No. No, go, go away. Oh, you're just one of the regular ones. That's fine. No. Get a Go away. <laughs> Do not care for you. Warning. Yep. Maximum death reach. I, I... All damage imminent. Thank you. Thank you, lovely computer voice. Oh, man, we are... We are way below crush depth. I'm just getting... We're slowly getting crushed to death, and I'm just... Ignoring the depth meter. <laughs> oh boy, that's great. Warning: Maximum nope. depth reached. Nope, nope. Hull damage imminent. I'm aware. Thank you. And that's another thing I have to keep back in mind that um, apparently we have to do some land exploration at some point, which is why we have those. Oh, that's big. Why we have those uh, prints for the hover. The, the, hover bike I guess it was I, I don't remember that I think it was the snow fox is what they called or something along those lines we'll have to use it at some point so we're gonna take a slow mosey oh man this this ice is thick it's like everywhere but I don't exactly know where we're heading right now so I'm gonna go ahead and I say we'll do a cut here and then I'll be back once I find something interesting as much as floating around in the, in the water is interesting, it doesn't make for great content if you know my if you catch my drift, my meaning. So I will be back. No, why are you here? Why are you directly in the way I need to go? No. No, just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shimmy sideways past you. You just leave me alone. Okay, there we go. All right. Good. You you go that way. All right, so anyway, as you can see, we still have not found something to do. What I did find, however, is that um, I was looking up recipes to see, you know, stuff we needed and, you know, what to get them. And the first thing I noticed was um, we didn't get the parallel processor. We got one of them. Apparently, we need three of those to create the... the plan the fabrication plan to actually get them we can't just can't just get one and call it a day we need multiple and that's why there was multiple needless to say i, I gotta do this again <laughs> this this is another go here as we hunt up the other parallel processors and i know we saw one 
which, you know, makes sense, but it's also confusing because we need two more, not one more. You know what I mean? We need two more, not one more. See? 67%. That's, that's not 100%. And there was one behind a panel. There was one in this engine rig. So that leads the question, where's the last one? And because those two things are literally have nothing to do with each other, the last one could be anywhere. Or heck, it could not even be here at all. And that would suck. And there's where we got the first one. And that's a shame, because if there's one thing I can't stand, it's looking stupid. Intentionally looking stupid. <laughs> I unintentionally look stupid all the time, and that's fine. The intentional part, I don't care for. Alright, so that's heading back. Actually, you know what? Let's head back this way. Maybe we'll get lucky. We'll find another entrance over here. No. No, there's no entrance just the way we came in. Because I am an idiot. Alright. Get some more air. Some more. I able to sense the location of an important artifact. Mm hmm I will share its coordinates so you can look into it. Got it. Thank you, Alan. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oh, that's crazy, Deep. Stop, stop sending me all these locations I can't get to, Alan. You're, you're bringing me down, man. You're bumming me out. It's like, oh, here's some stuff we need. Oh, there's no way in heck you could actually get it. I'm like, oh, great. That's, that's like the story of my life all over again. Here's all this stuff we need. It's right over there. Oh, cool. Let's go get it. No, you can't. You can't actually have it, though. That's that's not the way this works. We simply show it to you, and then you want it for the rest of your life, and you die a hollow shell of a human being. Duh. <laughs> uh, that's not that pleasant. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> that's a little much for a Let's Play. Okay. Just cannot find another one of those. The only thing I can think of was that area where we saw that vent access. Maybe that leads to another one, but I can't remember where that was now. I'm pretty sure that was over here. That was much closer to the first cut we made. Yeah, that was somewhere. Hmm, maybe it was out here. No, I don't I don't see that at all. Even yep, because this is the way we definitely came in this way. Originally that is. Hmm. I do not see that. Hello, sea truck. Let me get some free air. Oh yeah. You know what, let's slap a little repair on you on the way here. Because I don't know why, but I keep driving into fish. Like, I keep plowing right into fish, killing them instantly. And it, uh... It, it's like, it makes me feel bad, but then it also does uh, durability damage to my ship. So it's like a double whammy of feeling bad. Oh, there goes one of those. Nope. Okay. Oh, maybe that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, I think that's what I need. Is there a way in there? No, <laughs> that's a that's a negative. Yeah, we need to get over here somewhere oh, behind this wall. Okay, and cut through here. Wait, is this what we needed? No, this is not what we needed. I feel I'm just I'm running circles. I feel like such an idiot. It's so disorienting in here. It really is. Although, to be fair, I assume that's that's by design. I mean, why would you why would you not do that? I'm trying to make derelicts uh, an exploration you might as well make them confusing. Otherwise, what, what, you, what are you doing? You know, what I need is some oxygen. Yes. Now it looks like there may have been a way. We're here? No, that's nothing. It's weird, something I found the first time without even trying or caring about it. And now I can't find it at all. 
That's mildly, mildly aggravating. <laughs> no. Nope. Right, these are the two doors that don't open. Still nothing here. Surprisingly, there's still nothing here. <laughs> Thankfully, there's all these oxygen plants here, but that don't make me feel better about the situation. Oh, I haven't been in here. Oh, wait, yeah, I have. This was the, this was the locked crate. Hopefully, this is what we need. Reactor rod. That's not what we need. In fact, that's dangerous. Why would I... Just, yeah, let me pick up that fuel reactor rod for a nuclear reactor with my bare hands. That's probably pretty good, right? Just make sure there's nothing else in here. Because clearly we need more of the things we need. More metal salvage? No, we don't really need that. Metal salvage can go screw itself te temporarily. We'll need it again at some point, but not right now. Okay, this is the other way. Oh, all right. We're, we're doing something here. All right, well, clearly I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just wandering around like a fool. So I'm going to do a cut here, and I'll be back whether I die or find something or move on. Because, yeah, we're, we're not making much progress in, in the way I'm doing this. <laughs> nope, it's over there. Okay. All right, I will be back. Okay, so I, I was through every, every single inch of that ship and could not find what we were looking for. So, we're gonna mosey on. This is much fun as I, I have uh, just looping around and enjoying the view. Warning. It's not getting Maximum us anywhere. Depth reached. Hull damage imminent. But it did say that there were three separate sections of the ship. So, I'm gonna move forward a little bit and see if we can actually find another piece of the ship to go find. Looks like there's some debris down there. That might be what we're looking for. Warning. Okay, I get it. Jeez. Let's let's go take a look, see what we can find in this area. Petrick Aquarium model? No, we don't need that. We don't need that. That's one thing I wish this game had would be a uh, to let you know when you've actually scanned something already to save you the time. Let's head down a little, see what we can find down here. This is a weird looking fish. Oh, this goes way down. This might be too down. <laughs> this might be downtown Julie Brown down. Okay. Well, it's it's so down we've hit another biome. And it just keeps going. Okay, this, yeah, I don't... Ugh, I don't like that sound. I strongly sense my people's technology nearby. A body component is near. Okay. Like, uh, we're gonna have to flee for... What is that? Uranite crystal, heck yeah. That's a that's a rare looking thing there. We're gonna flee and go get some air, we're gonna die, but... It's good to know that that keeps going down ad infinitum. Actually, it's not. I, I hate it when it's super deep like that. Deep water freaks me out. You know what freaks me out more is that we can't get this last piece of the parallel processor, so we're totally screwed. Because that technically is our next story point, is to... Well, I mean, she said disable, but I'm going to call it fix, just for uh, posterity's sake. Fix the, uh, the tower, so to speak. Alright, so we didn't find anything that way. I guess we can... Warning. Oh, wait. Oh. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. What do we have here? This looks like a piece of ship if I've ever seen one. Stop crushing my ship. Detecting bow of an astronautical Soltrans go vessel nearby. Vessel name, Mercury 2. Nice. Inoperative. Yeah, well, <laughs> thank you for that heads up. I'm pretty sure I could have pieced that together myself. Dangerously jacking this thing up with the, the crush depth. That's fine. We got batteries, and when we don't got batteries, we got a save game. Although we are running low on water. Always with the water. Could have sworn I picked up more water, but I guess not. Dang, we're gonna have to bail hard on a, on a water tip soon, but I hope not. Hope we can find what we need first. Now, let's get in there. What the heck is that? Oh, that's the, that's the base for the, uh, 
the giant lily pad things. Hello, doorway. Oh, what we got going on here? Lily pad root. All right. Tangled, dense root structures that occasionally pull chunks of terrain from the seabed, connecting an intertwined network of plant life and suspended rock. Lovely. It's lovely. What is this? Sealed door cut to access. Don't mind if I do. Yes. Cutting with the power of laser. I assume that's what we're cutting with. I didn't even actually look at the uh, description for this item, so maybe it's not. Maybe it's like a photon beam or a neutrino wave cannon. I don't know. I'm just making stuff. <laughs> what is that? Alien containment? All right. Great. Ooh, and a PDA. My instincts are never wrong. Stephanos has always been overly cautious. He hates taking risks, which I suppose is understandable when you're in the back end of the galaxy. But no risk, no reward. Elliot finds evidence of alien architecture on a completely uncharted planet, and he expects me to ignore that? <laughs> Orion's belt, I would be an absolute fool. We've done some scans, and while there aren't a lot of mineral resources on this planet, there is decent biodiversity. Teams go out in the morning. This should be a significant specimen and sample hall for biopatenting, which will be split among the crew as part of the discovery clause. Let's see, Stephanos and everyone else complain when they have a few more Soul Transgov credits in their uniform pockets. They'll learn to trust my instincts at some point. Lovely. Man, nothing like them Soul Transgov creds. I don't, I don't even know what that is. But we're already super low on oxygen for some reason, so we're going to hard bail. Nope, that's not hard bail. That's, uh, there we go. <laughs> Get some more O2. Oh, that's why, because we're so... I was wondering why it felt like we got there and we're already super low on oxygen. It's because we have to go down quite a ways. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. We have to go down quite a ways to get to the ship proper. All right, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Where's that door at? Button, button. Who's got the button? That was a weird looking fish. Don't have time to look at it though. Let me in there. I know I can get in there. Don't you lie to me. That was so good. Great. Those are good actually. Oh yeah, wiring kit. I found one of those in the uh, that ship I was doing laps around before as well. It's not super like, it's not like, yay, I got a wiring kit, but it'll save us some time somewhere in the future. Okay, stuff in here. Ooh, sealed crate. Bang. Reactor rod again. I was walking around getting all irradiated. I'm alive. Stephanos saved me. The Mercury attempted an emergency takeoff and everything seemed fine. I was helping the bridge crew with the emergency takeoff since the crew is, well, was shorthanded because of everything. I heard the sound of metal tearing and for a split second, everything was tinged bright green and unbearably hot. Then I saw daylight and I was looking down at the ocean and ice. The strongest wind I've ever felt roared in my ears, ripping through the ship. People went flying out the side of the Mercury, so much screaming and chaos. I was lucky. I had just clipped into my seat anchor. Stephanos came out of nowhere, like a malaika, an angel. I felt his rough, calloused hand grasp mine with the gentlest of urgency. It felt like time slowed, he said. I gotcha. Just follow me, Ella. I don't know how. But he used an emergency tether to drag me to the nuclear reactor core, the strongest bulkhead in the ship. We hit the water and everything went black. <sighs> He's sleeping. I think he might have hit his head. I'm exhausted. The adrenaline has long since worn off and my body aches. I think I might have fractured the rib. I'm gonna shut my eyes for a bit. When I wake up, I'll figure this out. I'll save us. 
Okay, something tells me you died. <laughs> something tells me you died. Because that's the problem. Once the adrenaline runs off, if you're still in that bad news scenario, you're basically dead. Ah, yes, more nuclear rods. No, that said depleted. That, that... That said depleted. Get out of here, nuclear waste. Nobody needs you. Because this is the game, I don't have to deal with the ramifications. Oh, come on. Come on. Another fuel rod. No, what is that? Synthetic fibers. Oh, that'll... That's another one of those things that'll... Not super awesome, but will save us some time in the future. I think I gotta get out of here, because I don't think there's, uh... I don't think there's any oxygen in this ship at all. Unlike the last ship, which had plenty of oxygen, there's no, no oxygen in this one. Alright, back in the seat truck. Hoodoo. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, I'm aware, I'm aware. I'm so aware that we're out of time for this episode for today. Oh, I just hopped out, I didn't even realize. Uh, get back in there, there's sharks. Alright, so that's all the time I have for today's episode. Thank you everybody so much for joining me on another exciting look into the world of Subnautica. I am Devo Lost Time Gaming. If you enjoyed the video today, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and get subscribed. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about my gameplay, my commentary. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Thank you. Damage imminent. Thank you, computer voice. If you... Yeah. I'll, I'll catch you all on the flip side.